Never wait. There's always a way not to wait. And there's many ways to wait that you're not even aware of. There's many ways in which we've developed the habit of waiting. It's so much fun when you see this. It's so much fun when you explore all these subtleties. Oh, wait a second. Not traditionally speaking, but in a very subtle, weird, wicked way. I am waiting right now. And as soon as you notice that, it's so liberating because then you start acting on the thing that you wanted to do, whether or not you seem to have the means to do it. For example, you just start acting according to your desire, regardless of whether you seem to have the means to do it. And as soon as you set your first step, suddenly, suddenly right there underneath your foot, the, the, the floor is placed. So from not doing anything, from waiting, all you see is like, no, I can't step over the edge because there's nothing there to support me. But as soon as you choose to go, no matter the steps are being there or not, whether you're going to fall to your death or not, as soon as you make that choice, you start supporting yourself, and since circumstances are empty illusions, smoke and mirrors reflecting you, suddenly, bloop, you're creating the path as you go. And at some point, you trust that so much, because you see it happens all the time, that you stop actually like... <laughs> you stop looking at your path, and you start looking up, and you start running, and you start flying. Yes. But you got to have faith. You got to have faith. You got to know that this is an infinite universe. You got to know that circumstances are illusions and your state of being is what creates your reality. And that's all what the way of self-actualization is about at the heart of it. It's to realize that your state of being actually formulates physical reality. It's very empowering to realize that.